beautiful Saturday morning. We're getting ready to go riding. It's a little warm today. We're going to the Devil's Backbone. No, devil's, the Dragon's Head. Dragon's Head. <laughs> I don't know where I got the Devil's Backbone from. Well, we've talked about riding that. I just don't want to go that far north today. The little pond. They do catch and release here. This is the first time I've ever seen cattails. They look like little hot dogs on skewers. We're getting ready to come up on this train trestle that is actually still in, um, it's still working. And I thought it was so cool. Now let's watch it from behind. The first town that we go through is North Fork, West Virginia. This has a population of 231, so it's a pretty small town. The interesting thing about this town is, is it's um, one of the stops that we made when we were headed to the Ashland ATV Resort in a previous video. We have to make a really sharp turn off the main road and, that leads you to the ATV Resort and for us to do that in our RV with the trailer behind it, we actually had to go down to a business in town and do a U-turn in their parking lot and then come back up this road so that we could make the turn and go across the railroad tracks. The other thing about this town is all the businesses and all the homes and everything are right on, they're located right on the road and so we took the motorcycle and we rode down here one day and we rode up in the hills where they, where the houses are and they're literally on the side of steep hills. We happened upon a funeral that was um, at a church up there and we had to make a U-turn and I would say that's a pretty steep uh, U-turn, wasn't it, Lorena? Yeah, I was, <laughs> I was afraid we weren't gonna get back up onto that road because it was so steep. This next town is Keystone, West Virginia. It was founded in 1892 by the Keystone Coal and Coke Company. It uh, has a population of 176 currently. As we drive through this town, this church caught my eye, and if you know me, I love videotaping and taking pictures of old churches and bridges and this church Whitaco Memorial Presbyterian Church is one of the oldest African-American churches in West Virginia which was actually founded by Matthew T. Whitaco. He was a prominent newspaper publisher and politician in this town. As we leave Keystone, I noticed a structure on the right-hand side of the road. It had a pretty tattered fence, and so I went on Google Maps and looked at what the structure actually was, and it looks like it's a coal lift and a coal storage yard, and it does appear that it's still in use. We did see some train cars there and some automobiles and everything, so what I'm, I would imagine that they're still using it. It doesn't give any information, on Google Maps about the structure currently, but it does appear that it's still in use. As we drive along, the next town that we enter is Jaeger, West Virginia. It has a population of 257 and was incorporated in 1917 and is named for Col Colonel William Jaeger, an early settler. 
The Hatfield and McCoy ATV trails run near here, and so this is a popular area for ATV enthusiasts to ride. This building on the left-hand side of the road is the Jaeger Intermediate School. It was built in 1922 and closed in 1999. Currently it's 102 years old and uh, it's still in pretty good shape considering its age, but it is an abandoned building at this time. We really enjoyed this ride and Lorraine and I both like riding the back roads and uh, filming these old historic towns and buildings and everything. But as we drive along here, we notice the, the decline in these towns and you know how the population has really moved out of these areas and so they're really struggling at this point. Yeah, and it's, it's sad at the same time because you see so many old abandoned buildings that are boarded up but yet the people that are living there are still trying to you know make their businesses go and they're still living there and trying to make the best of what they've got yeah this is their homes and some of these people have lived in these areas for years So this turn right here to the right that I'm going to make is a little different route for the Dragon's Head. I do this turn and, and go this direction so that we can get back to an overlook that, uh, that we missed on the way out. Uh, it's quite a turn though, as you'll see in the video. <laughs> it wasn't. It, it literally looked like a steep huge incline. It freaked me out. My favorite part of the road that we're getting ready to get on is very windy and twisty. And so not to make this video long, we decided to speed up this video. So enjoy the ride. We just pulled into a little rest stop and this, I just filmed the, the building so you'll, you'll get to see it before you actually get to hear me talk about it. But um, we just went through a lot of towns which were old coal mining towns and 
towns that weren't towns anymore. Um, yeah, they struggle. Yeah, they struggle a lot. But beautiful countryside. The state is really pretty. And Kevin rode and I videotaped. So we went down. And you were terrified the whole time. I wasn't terrified of the road. I was terrified of other people again going in our lane. That happened twice today, three times today. More than that. There was quite a few cars in our lane. Yeah, so if you drive a car and you're on roads with Please yellow stay lines, lane. stay in your lane. <laughs> Very important. <laughs> we, don't, we don't get second chances no, on the motorcycle. <laughs> but we went, there's four, what did you say? There were four trails, four uh, rides. Four rides for the dragon. Uh, there's, uh, I may get this wrong, but there's the dragon's head, which we're on. And then there's the dragon's tail, which we've ridden. Then there's the talons and the body. I believe that's the four parts of the dragon that you can ride. And we've done two of them now, and we want to do the other two at some point. Yeah. They're very twisty and lots of corners and steep hills. And so if you ride motorcycles, it's perfect. We're going to go over here to the overlook. We're parked down there. What is this? The pinnacle. It's a lot of stairs. Holy moly. We just came up all those stairs down there. better be worth it. What? Said so this better be worth it. <laughs> <laughs> Man. I'm out of shape. I guess it's up there. Woo. We got to catch our breath. That was that was a doozy. So we are up here at the overlook and I got to tell you it's worth it. I'm going to flip is, this around. Oh, yeah, that's ugly. Close. We're up at the top of the world. This is down there was the bottom <laughs> of the world worth the top. <laughs> okay, I'm going to flip this around. Real slow so you can see. It's 
that not just spectacular? You can hear the birds from up here. Yeah, we're above the birds. <laughs> birds can't fly this high. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, this is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Hmm. Go over here. Isn't that stunning? <laughs> 